An early morning fire rips through a South Jersey ambulance company, turning most of its fleet to scraps. Firefighters were called to the Woodstown American Legion Ambulance Association around 4 a.m. The fast moving fire kept them busy for an hour and a half. And our Alicia Nieves is live in Woodstown tonight. Alicia, this was an explosive fire. Yeah, Jess, this certainly was an explosive fire. In fact, firefighters and witnesses both told us they heard at least four different explosions in this uh, now gutted ambulance association as the fire ripped through here this morning. Now, fire marshals have been out here all day, but they are still unable to determine what's caused this scary and damaging fire. The first 911 call came in around 4 o'clock in the morning. A call for firefighters to race to this South Jersey Ambulance Association. The building was on fire. Heard an explosion. Um, and then about two or three minutes later, heard another explosion. According to firefighters, oxygen tanks in each ambulance exploded as the fire moved from the right side of the building to the left. And on the left was four members of the Woodstown American Legion's Ambulance Association. They were sleeping. One of them woke up and smelled smoke. Uh, he's a firefighter, you know, and checked upstairs in the attic, didn't see anything. And then he went out in the ambulance bays and uh, saw smoke on the ground and he got the other crew out. It took firefighters over an hour to knock down the blaze. Very little is left of this ambulance association. Almost all its equipment, including six ambulances, were destroyed. That's just one ambulance short of the association's fleet. No, it's a shame. We were growing and doing well. At this time, New Jersey State Fire Marshals are still trying to determine how the blaze here began, while the association's members are focused on rebuilding. We're going to take a little time to recover. It's very hard emotionally. Um, but with the support of everybody, and uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to go on. And firefighters are still inside the association right now. Fencing going up on the outside to kind of protect the area. Uh, coming up at 6, we'll tell you a little bit more about the future for this ambulance association and all the support it's getting from surrounding cities and surrounding counties to help start the process of rebuilding. For now, live uh, in Woodland, Woodtown, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.